All right, Trevor back again, Tag Performance and Nutrition. Another question that is kind of a hot topic debate, especially in the world of baseball and uh, strength and conditioning for baseball players, is the bench press. Uh, should baseball players bench press? Is it even worth it for them to bench press? And I see it more as an, not as an issue, is the bench press good for baseball players, but is it good for that specific person? It's more so not just baseball players or pitchers in general bench pressing as it is the person, the individual, should they bench press at that particular time in their life or wherever they're at. It should be looked at more so as the individual, not just generalizing that no baseball players should bench press or benching will destroy your pitching or whatever it may be. You gotta look at it more as each individual. Every, we're all different. Everyone's different. My experiences, training age, um, our bench pressing form, that type of thing. So it's more so benching with crappy form is not good. The bench press as it itself is not a bad, bad exercise. There's, there's no real bad exercise besides for maybe um, burpees, kipping pull-ups. Those are kind of crap exercises. Anything that balances on a Bosa ball or any of that ball balancing crap is probably crappy, but um, coming back to the bench press, that is not a bad exercise. It's more so the form and actually learning how to bench press. A lot of people that bench press don't know how to bench press properly, and that causes bad form or bad, and that injures their shoulders, and then that gets blamed that that's why their shoulders are injury. More so, their shoulder injuries in baseball come from throwing too much. Um, trying to throw too hard, that type of thing. That's a more violent movement than a bench press. You need to just think of all the force that you're bringing through when you're throwing. That's going to cause more problems. And then that combined with crappy benching form, that could be a problem. So with bench press, you got to look at each individual person you're working with and evaluate them that way and see where they're at. So the bench press, break it down is into the actual basic movement pattern, which is the horizontal pushing so there's plenty of different variations of this it doesn't have to be just the barbell bench press that's the, the far end the top end um the more advanced lift so to speak so if we're doing dialing back that scale along the variations of pushing horizontal pushing anyway uh, vertical pushing that's a whole other issue or a whole other topic but Horizontal pushing, um, start with the basic movement of the push-up, which is the best variation. I one of the best variations you can do, especially for baseball players. Whereas in the bench press, when you're taught the bench press properly, you're taught to lock your shoulder blades back together and down. Um, and as a baseball player, we want our shoulder blades to move alongside our rib cage. That's the proper movement. Whereas if you're benching all the time, your shoulder blades get locked in, and this is more of the problem too. Not with, combined with bad benching form, is that the actual good benching form teaches uh, you want your shoulder blades to stay back the entire time. Whereas in baseball, if your shoulder blades are locked, that's gonna uh, inhibit your range of motion um, on your throwing, so you're gonna be stuck like that. Then combined with um, being forward all the time, hunched over shoulders, that leads to more issues than actual the bench press itself. Um, it's the bad form, and then where they're taught to keep your shoulder blades back and down. Um, whereas in baseball or any overhead sport, really, you want your shoulder blades to move freely along your rib cage, and we'll get into that more. But so that's where we start out with they should master the basic push up first, um, and then you advance your push up variations. You can throw in dumbbell bench presses, then bench pressing, neutral grip bench pressing. The bench press itself is not a bad uh, movement. Baseball players can do it, should do it, um, as long as they're, that individual is capable and can demonstrate that they can do proper form with the bench press. But the main issues with the bench press are, again, crappy form, bad form, and then that, that you're taught to lock your shoulder blades down and back against the bench to kind of create that, that tension, that stiffness, and that power uh, coming out. Whereas in baseball or in sport, we want our shoulder blades 
to move, retract, and protract alongside our rib cage. So if you think of the, I'll show you next the video. Um, I'll take another video of a great push up and how your shoulder blades should properly move in the push up position. Whereas in the bench press, like I said, we're taught to keep those shoulder blades back. Um, so should baseball players bench press? Yeah, it, they can. It depends on the individual. Maybe not in season, you might not want a pitcher doing a ton of normal grip, uh, normal barbell bench press. Uh, Cause it just that extension or the ex external rotation they're always in anyway, doing so much of that while throwing. Um, so they don't need to put any more undue stress cause they're already getting enough stress when they're throwing, how if whether they're a starter or a lever or whatever. But you can do other variations. You can have them do push-ups. You can have them do dumbbell bench press, some neutral grip bench press. Just don't, you don't need to make it the, the priority in season. Um, off season, once they get a little bit of recovery, get their arm back in shape, they're ready to go, get rid of all that uh, strain and stress, which they should have an off season. That's a whole other issue is playing year round. Um, throwing year round is tough. It's not probably the best thing for your arm. That's going to cause more uh, do harm than, um, than bench pressing, so to speak. But that's where playing multiple sports is always great for young athletes too. Uh, playing as many sports as you can, as long as you can, is what I uh, think is the best for them. But whole other issue. But yeah, with the bench press, it's maybe not in season, not the greatest for pitchers, especially starters who are throwing a lot. Uh, but yeah, they can still do push-ups. Um, the bench press isn't a form of a movement. The actual movement is the push. The horizontal push and you want to be including that in all your training programs some variation the right variation for each individual not necessarily it might not be the barbell bench press like i said it could be uh, push-ups weighted push-ups band resistant push up there's a bazillion different ways to do push-ups check out my videos for those or dumbbell bench press neutral grip bench press there's so many different variations uh, but to say that the bench press is bad is it's just an overall kind of a scapegoat rather than actually looking at each individual player, each individual kid or person, and evaluate them on where they're currently at and what they can currently do as to should they bench press and what time of the year it is, if it's in season, off season. All that's got to play into effect. But an overall general statement that the bench press is bad for baseball players, I think, is not correct. It is. It can be bad for the wrong person who doesn't know how to properly do it and hasn't learned the form. But when done correctly, the bench press is a great variation. It can help develop power, upper body strength, upper body power. Um, but yeah, an overall general term that the bench press is bad for baseball players, I think is wrong. Um, again, it goes back to the individual and each individual needs to be trained the proper push variation form, the push movement pattern form, and then a good coach will program the correct variations for that pattern for each individual player rather than just saying the bench press is bad. That's just the overall scapegoat general term that too many people use these days. Um, but yeah, baseball players can bench press as long as they show the ability to bench press. And the way I, with my coaching, I always say you have to earn the right to use the barbell. The barbell is just another tool to perform certain movement patterns. It's not the be all end all. Um, some people never even care to do it. I mean, you can get great results doing push ups, doing uh, dumbbell bench press, just because that, especially with dumbbell, it works on each arm separately. You're not having to, you're not forcing both arms over at the same time. You got to get some stability in both arms. So, again, the bench press is a good variation uh, for baseball players as long as that individual player has learned the proper technique and proper form when it comes to bench pressing. So if you have any questions on anything else as far as bench pressing or the push movement pattern in general, reach out Trevor at tagpn.com and I look forward to uh, helping you out. Thanks.